So today we are testing fins. The forecast is really good, so it's going to be successful, I hope. Uh, we are riding on medium gear, so it's Isonic 73, 2023 model, so very exciting, the, the latest board. Uh, Severn 78, so it's my medium gear. And I have sizes between 40 and 33. So it's going to be very interesting which fin is the best. For sure 40 is too long, but still we're going to test it. Then going down, down, down through 35, all the way to 33. As you know, my fins keep the board very high, keep the board very loose, and they have a lot of grip, so, so they're completely different in tuning than uh, the normal fins on the market. And primarily I did those fins for me, just to enjoy and to have nice fins. But so many of you guys asked me to to sell them to you, to make them to you. So now I'm also doing them for all of my friends all around the world. So, so guys, uh, we will make a voiceover on this video because there is so much questions and so much to answer about my fins and about the, the idea behind my fins. So I have to, I, we had to record this video for you to clarify all the confusion. So. I am involved in fin design since late 90s, so it's way more than 20 years now. And I was present uh, through, through the whole fin evolution for, for many, many years or for many, many brands. And some years ago, maybe six or, or maybe eight years ago, I decided that uh, none of the fins on the market are satisfying me fully and I want to have something more. I want to have something better. And uh, this is when I decided to go with my own brand, which actually is not a brand because this is not a company, this is not a, this is not a business, this is just my hobby, making things for me. And slowly, slowly this hobby transformed into uh, making things also for some of my friends all around the world, windsurfers that I met or that, uh, that we know each other from the past. So now my things are really uh, under various windsurf boards all around the world. But what is the general idea behind my fins? Because making just another fin like a Carpenter, Keshi or, or Chopper or Z fin is for me pointless because it's way easier just to spend three or four or 500 euro and, and get one. Uh, but I was designing and I was making a lot of prototypes, a lot of molds, a lot of tests to make something better. As you can see, I'm going now, I was going out and the, the board was sitting very high. The nose it was high above the water, but still not flying away. And this was my objective. Oh, you can see now the, the speed difference and the ride difference. My board is sitting higher than the board of my friend. The friend of mine is riding on the carpenter. I was riding on my fin, of course. So <clears throat> I went into designing a fin that will create more lift and that will make the board sit higher, which makes uh, less contact area with the water, less drag, and this way you can go faster. And while you go faster, you get more apparent wind. And when you get more apparent wind from the speed, you go even faster. So this is great. And I managed to, to do this fin, and also this fin has a nice uh, side effect that it rides higher on the jibe. So it means that it feels more floaty, like, like a foil on the jibe. The board is not stick, sticking down on the jibe. And also after the jibe, it accelerates and it, uh, it goes easier and faster because the, the whole board is higher. And technically, the physics behind my fin is that my I created a fin with more grip than the standard racing fins like Keshi, Carpenter, and so on. And this grip allows me to ride a shorter fin, which gives me a great advantage of less drag and less uh, resistance in the water, because as everybody knows, a shorter fin is always faster. But the problem with shorter fins, or now you can see my board is sitting just on the very tail. It's almost tail walking, but it's not flying away. And this is the characteristic on my fin of my fin. So, the problem with shorter fin is always that you lose lift, that you lose grip and you lose lift. And of course, after jibes is uh, hard to start because you can spin out. With my fins is not the case because my fins 
are thicker profile. And this is on purpose because I, of course, started with the same profile like, as, like everybody else. Then I went to the thinner profile to go faster, but it didn't work. So after many, many molds, many, many prototypes, I went into thicker profile, but shorter fin. Of course, uh, a special flex, a special stiffness. This is very, very important and special profile. Uh, and also a special design of leading edge and the trailing edge of the fin. And also the surface of the fin, which is super important because if you have too smooth surface, then you get the cavitation and spin outs. If you have too rough surface, then the fin is slow. So there is so many factors in the fin that, the, that combines for a great fin. And also one thing very interesting about my fins is that, that Till now, and it's already many years past, not even one fin broke in half. I had two fins cracked, just barely cracked, but after thousands of hours on the water, but every other fin that I made from here or for my friends didn't break. So my fins has a different inside structure, inside core, which makes them indestructible. This is good news because you can use it forever, not like other fins that after a season or two, you really have to seriously consider selling them out because they might break or, or they just break. Uh, I broke a lot of fins in my life. So, uh, it's fun. It's really, really fun to ride my fin because the board is sitting higher and I love them. And uh, most of the guys that try my fin, they say, wow, it's something different. So it's not just another fin on the market that is kind of similar to the one that we had. My fins are just different story. The ride is different, the setup is different. You must put your mast track more back, at least two centimeters more back, because everything sits more backwards, more high. So <clears throat> uh, if you ever try my fin from a friend or maybe if you, <clears throat> if it happens that I make a fin for you, you will feel a huge difference in ride. It's, it's a just different feeling. It's, it's super nice. But because I do them with my own hands, and this is my hobby, not a business. It's a hobby. I make only few fins a year. It's, uh, and also I have a family. I have, uh, you know, I'm racing. I have to train. I have to do other stuff. So, so I'm not doing those fins. So many of them. This is super, super limited edition. Uh, so don't expect that I will have a website. Don't expect that there will it will be a product in the shop. For sure, it will not be a product in the shop. It will never be uh, publicly offered. This is just a hobby, and this is just for for uh, geeks like me that really love to tune and to to play with with their gear and to really fine tune and and really adjust everything to perfection. So this is me. And uh, once you try it, you will love it. But the good news is you don't have to buy a lot of them because they last forever. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of talking, but uh, I hope worth it. And I hope to see you in the future on the water. Have a good day. <laughs>